You got into a big argument and made a lot of racist comments. But oh, I hook up with all stream. the rappers. Like, obviously, like, I like black guys. Like, I, you don't see me out here with any white guys. What did you say? Oh, I hook up with stream. all the rappers. What? Hey, that's a bullshit. <laughs> all right, weird flex, but let's see how this chick spits her game. I do 100 jumping jacks. Will you come home with me? Oh, shit. What is that? Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph, and you guys, for today's video, I got a one. Honestly, the only word that truly describes this woman that we're gonna be looking at today is embarrassing. Her name is Jessie Taylor, and she... I don't even know what she is. She's a self-proclaimed influencer who influences people to steal random people's wallets as a prank. Do, do, do not phone button. It's a prank, it's a prank. It's a prank. And harass men in Walmart. That's a lot of ones. Oh, that's nasty. Honestly, the only influencing that she is doing is influencing all those mothers out there not to raise their daughter to grow up to be like her. Y'all might remember her from Dr. Phil a few years back. And I'm not saying you're a racist. I, I'm I, not. I did it because I saw some girl do it on YouTube and now she has her own MTV show. So I was like, oh, if I do that, maybe I'll get my own MTV show. What? But if not, here's the viral video which got her onto it. I'm in the middle of editing and my Instagram account got deleted. <laughs> without my following. I am nothing without my following. If your entire life plan surrounds having an Instagram account and you are nothing without it, that is just straight up sad. Look, once I graduate, I want to take YouTube and TikTok full time. I have a lot of plans. I want to start selling clothing. I want to get into acting. There's a lot of things I want to do. But I'm in university right now as a backup plan because this type of stuff is not guaranteed. But this wannabe OnlyFans influencer girl, all she knows is being a giant shit disturber for views. Honestly, I respect real OnlyFans girls more than her because at least they're not being assholes towards people. They're just opening their assholes for people. So guys, for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of her TikToks and reacting to them. We're gonna start off with some of the more um, chill ones and then progress into some which are really just uncomfortable to watch. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and don't do what this girl does. Hey guys, it's Jesse Taylor and I'm going to be throwing balls at random people at Walmart. Let's go. Okay, go get security, girl. Come on, go. Excuse you, I'm getting security. Okay, hold up. Can we rewind to the beginning? The journey of life starts with a fascinating race. Starting with millions of sperm. Whoa, pause, pause. I didn't mean that far back. Did y'all see that quick dodge <laughs> she did? For real though, this chick is in her 20s and she thinks that this is funny. I mean, it's obviously fake. You got Shorty over there who looks like she's in her 20s browsing through the kids section at Walmart looking for a new doll from Frozen and her reaction when the ball hits her. Does Walmart even have security? Who are you gonna call? Like, who's gonna be pulling up? Mickey over here with their walking cane? Oh, hey, you over there. This is my store and you do not harass people in Walmart. Oh. Actually, now that I think about it, there is one employee at Walmart who I'm not gonna lie, is quite terrifying. This employee, she's got the big stuffies on her side. She's got an army of little stuffies on her side. She's capable of camouflage. So you better watch out and you better cry because this ain't Santa Claus. Her name is Charlene and she'll come out of nowhere and bam. Can you hold my jugs for me? Uh, okay. No thanks, my what jugs. Hold them for? What? Why do you need me to hold them? My jugs, they're really heavy. You put them in me. I wasn't talking about those. Hold up. What you mean? I wasn't talking about those. Imagine if the roles were reversed and a man approached a woman asking to hold his uh, blue balls. Actually, hold up. That's a terrible example, but you still get what I mean. Anyway, so he leaves the woman on, making it look like that he's obviously talking about his limp balls, but then it turns out those weren't the chocolate balls he was talking about. And that's a harassment charge right there. But for real though, let's talk about how this buddy ain't no simp. Can you hold my jugs for me? Uh, okay. The man's got more chill than some of the people in the comment section of that TikTok. If she did this to me, I'm grabbing her chest. I don't know, bro. This woman looks delicious to me. I'd be all over her. Come on. I would hold all of them. Yo, chill. Buddy's like 60 something and simping real hard. Hey, I have a question. What would you rate me 1 to 10? Be honest. No? Why not? Why it's a low score? Well, my wife is, uh, Your wife is over there? Yeah. Yo, keep it PG. I don't even want to know what's under there. It'd probably be smelling down there just how her elf would be looking, like a skunk. I do a hundred jumping jacks. Will you come home with me? 
don't even know what is that. What? I don't even know what is that. Jumping jacks? I know what you mean. Can I show you? No, it's cool. Yes, sir. She trying to make this guy fall on his knees at Walmart for her, but nope. Not today. I mean, there's no way this guy really doesn't know what jumping jacks are, right? If you are in your 20s or 30s and you've never heard of, you know, jumping jacks, like, you know? I don't know. At that point, I'd probably start thinking that you're an alien. Honestly, though, what would have been hilarious is if he made her do those 100 jumping jacks only to say, Hey, sexy. What's up, Hampton? Nothing. Do you have any hot, handsome friends like you? Not local. Lobo, where are you from? Not here. You're, where are you from? Gardens. Gardens? Like my garden? Ew, okay, okay, nah, this girl is just straight up weird. For those who don't know what she meant by my garden, she was referring to the rodent trap she got going down under there. You know, like the poison ivy, the fur burger, the Amazon rainforest. First of all, women don't usually shoot their shot, even though they should do more of it. So the dude probably could already sense something was off to begin with. But if you are going to shoot your shot, don't be weird about it. Bro, why does this guy sound like a viral meme from a movie? Not local. Lobo, where are you from? Not here. I just love this guy's attitude. He ain't no simp. He knows his worth and he's not afraid to say no. He ain't simping in this bitch. He's a rock star. Like my garden? No. Like my garden? This is very off-putting. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you want to get my number? No. No? Are you single? No. I can change that. No, I bet you couldn't. I can't change that? You don't no. think so? <laughs> nah, on a real note though, I actually kind of feel bad for this guy. He's drinking alone at the bar and looks a tad bit geeky, which is completely fine, but she's clearly trying to capitalize on his vulnerability so she can get a good reaction for her prank. We don't know this guy's situation. Just imagine he's been to this bar 50 times before and each time has approached a girl and got rejected. You know, his heart shattered. He feels like he's worthless. His confidence super low. And imagine for the 51st time, this guy comes to the bar and a woman approaches him for once, complimenting not once, hey, sexy. but twice, up, only to find out this entire thing was a prank. I mean, the guy in the video doesn't appear to be interested, but it's still such a low move to be toying with anyone's feelings like that, giving them false hope and shoving a camera in their face while doing it. I just don't have any respect for a woman approaches a man like that and toys with his feelings. Oh. Oh my god. What are you sorry for? Nah, she just continues to get weirder and weirder. And her moaning in Buddy's ear wasn't even the weirdest part about this TikTok. Look what she does next. That's a lot of ones. No ones? No tip? Oh, come on. Please? Can I please get a tip? All right, um, that is something I have never seen before. There's two types of influencers in this world. At the higher end, you got someone like Jimmy Darts who goes around Walmart giving people money after they show some act of kindness. I wish I could get ice cream. I don't have any cash for it. Yeah, you can ask no way, it. thank you so much. What's your name? Bonnie. Bonnie, great to meet you, Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie, I got my ice cream. Look at it. I was actually in there waiting to see the first person to buy me ice cream, and I got a gift for you, Bonnie. $500. Oh, no, no, honey. Yes, this is for you. It's inspirational for the viewers, it's memorable, and changes the life of the person who receives the money. But then you got Jesse Taylor who approaches some random guy, and moans in his ear, and then shakes her fuzzy peaches and begs for money. The fact that this guy is clearly not about it, but she keeps on going, it's just disgusting. The stuff is just embarrassing. All she does is film herself being an obnoxious pain in the ass and getting rejected by every single guy. This wannabe only Flamingo influencer, she got no risk. She knows that this type of content is gonna get a lot of haters, and sure, you might get views in the short term, but in the long term, how are you gonna generate any money from this? Anyway, guys, that's officially gonna do it for this video. If you did enjoy and want me to react to more cringy ass TikToks like this one, please consider leaving a like and comment so I do know that you wanna see more videos like this. And also, I don't know how many of y'all follow my TikTok, but we recently hit 100,000 followers, which is absolutely insane. I wanna hit that by January 1st. I started being a little bit more active and we hit that December 21st. Crazy, it, it, it is. If you're still watching this right now, I am truly grateful for your love and support. I know I don't post a whole lot on YouTube or TikTok. I'm finishing my last year of university, but after that, full. We are going full grind. You know, you already, you know, yeah, we're, we're taking a full time. I can't wait, I'm really excited. But anyway guys, that's officially gonna do it. So until next time, it's been Iron Steph.
Peace.